How many of you think this is a critical moment in American history? All right. How many of you think this is a critical moment in human history? And that God, that God placed us here for this moment is something that is so phenomenal. So when you're getting down and you say this hill is, is too, too tough, it's too big, I can't climb it, I don't have the energy, I don't have the power, just remember God thinks so highly of you that he placed you here at this time in history. And that means we can all do something. It might not be, it might not be you're running for office. Maybe you just step up as a mom and you say, I'm going to the uh, school board meetings and I'm going to get loud. Maybe you use your voice on social media and risk being canceled. We can all do something. How many of you have heard the, the phrase, and I think it was um, Reverend Billy Graham, courage is contagious. It truly is. I know that when, when Donald Trump came down the escalator, the courage he showed that day and in the days that came and in the years that came really made me want to do something courageous. And so when I stepped away from my career and then somehow stepped into the arena of politics, I tapped into somebody else's courage. And I had a lot of people reach out to me and say, you just showed an act of courage and now I feel like I can do something courageous. It just takes one little step through that fear. I recently uh, wrote a book, and it's, it's coming out right now. As a matter of fact, we're doing a book signing today, and the book is called Unafraid, and I titled it Unafraid because when you step through fear, the fear of being ostracized for having the wrong opinion, which is truly the right opinion these days, when you step through that fear, it's amazing. When you get to the other side, nothing can phase you. Nothing can make you afraid. And so I'm encouraging everybody today to find that thing that makes you afraid, whether it's speaking out, whether it is getting involved politically, whether it's ruffling some feathers. I encourage you to do that and step through that fear so that you too can be unafraid.